Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Share Factory tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to add transitions uh, to your videos uh, for Share Factory for PS4. Um, it's a very, very, very simple thing to do. It's extremely easy. If, if you're familiar with Share Factory, you probably already know how to do this. If you don't know how to add a transition, then stick with me in this video. I'm going to show you really, really quickly in a couple minutes. Let's go. All right, so what you just saw was a transition. A transition is just a, a little special effect you can use that goes from one scene to the other. Um, as you can see here, I've got a little Fortnite video that I've just uh, compiled a, a little couple of scenes of just some kills I did in Fortnite, and I've just compiled them and separated them using transitions. This, uh, this, this little symbol right here, that is the transition. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to add. If you want to add a transition, you're going to go to the scene where you want to add the transi transition. It will always add it to the scene afterwards to the right of it uh, okay so what you're going to do is you're going to go on to on onto the scene you're going to press x x is always to add something and square is always to edit something uh, just keep that in mind so then you're going to go to the very bottom right one here it's add transition and as you can see there's different kinds um, there's a bunch of cinematic transitions which i used at the beginning of this video uh, you can scroll through them and uh, there's dissolves right if you go to the left click on dissolves um, you have some dissolve ones here, and then you have wipes, which is primarily what I use in this video. Uh, you press R2 on, on them, you can kind of see their little preview of what they'll look like, right? Um, and just kind of pick from there. And there's also comic book transitions as, as well, which are, are pretty cool. Um, notice that there's a time uh, underneath each one, it tells you how, how much time it takes to do the transition. So depending on um, where you you split your clip, um, this tra the transitions may not work for you. Because if you pick a transition that is too long, for example, you could potentially cut off part of the part of your own clip, right? So just to show you guys some of the comic book ones, they're pretty cool, right? A little page flip, whatever, right? So we're just going to go back to wipes. I'm just going to add one here, right? Just a random one. doesn't matter which one it is. Let's just say uh, this one here, right? And so now it added that little transition symbol here, right? So if we, if we watch it, right, it's going to do that little transition. There it is, right? And if we ever want to change that, just highlight it. It'll turn orange when you when you go over it with your cursor. And then you're going to press a square this time to edit it, right? And then you're just going to go right here to where it says edit transition. Now, from this point, you can either delete it entirely or just replace it, right? So we're going to replace it, uh, hit X, and then we're going to just whatever. This, let's use this one, squish right, whatever that is, right? So if we do that, now it's going to squish right. And that's it. Okay, so now just to show you guys the final project of what it could look like if you add transitions to a video, it could look like this. And that's how it's done, guys. It's it's very, very simple to do, as you can see. Um, so go ahead and, and use those transitions if you want to use them for your videos. Um, if this video helped you guys out there, leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing to this channel for more Share Factory tips or just by checking out the silly gaming videos that I make using Share Factory. Um, thank you for watching. Take care.